All right, and today's challenge is this 2011 Subaru Outback. Uh, this is the H6 with the 5 EAT uh, old style transmission. It's not a CVT, has a uh, six speed, I believe, uh, automatic transmission. Uh, I just did a transmission fluid change on it, uh, added some uh, lube guard to try to get a little bit smoother shifting, and I also want to reprogram the uh, learned characteristics, so do a adaptation reset, basically, is what you'd call it on most cars. So to do it on this one, you have to get it up to operating temperature, which I believe is 60 degrees centigrade or above. Uh, we're currently about 80, and you have to lift it. It's, it's absolutely necessary. You can do this on uh, jack stands or if you're lucky enough to have a friend in the area with a full lift, you can do it that way. So I'm going to get in the car and follow the prompts. All right, I've hooked up. It's a Launch X431 Pro S, I believe. Um, I've set this up. I've already got loaded the information. You can see it's a, it's a Legacy Outback. It's an Outback 2011. Tell it yes. It's communicating with, and I'm I'm using my phone as a uh, for the Wi-Fi a Wi-Fi hotspot because this device does need to be uh, connected. All right, um, we need to do a system selection, and I need to go into the transmission control module, and it verifies its system. the The transmission is a five, an E five AT. I guess that's five speed. Uh, I'm going to go to special function, AT learning mode, and I have to turn off the headlights. If it's got an eco switch, leave eco on, which it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't have sport mode, which is actually, in this case, going to manual shifting, which I'm not going to do. It doesn't have power hold, and if it is, it's off. No SI drive, so we're okay there. Um, lift the vehicle, put on the parking brake, so I'm going to cycle the parking brake. It is definitely on. Okay, so I'm going to say OK, turn on the ignition switch, turn off the ignition switch, start the engine, OK, it's communicating, fully depress the brakes, brake and keep pressing, and once the speed gets stabilized, shift to the D range, OK, it's in the D range. And it stays here for a while. Now the thing is, it's, I don't know if you can hear, but it's actually um, revving the engine a little bit. It is gonna probably clunk and clank a little bit in the process of going through this process, not to be excited about. So I'm still just pressing the brake very firmly. Okay, release brake pedal. Okay, now you can see it's actually turning the wheels, which is why you're up on stands, and you notice the AT oil temperature flashing a bunch of times. That's what it does when it's in this uh, this learning mode. Yep, and it's clunking. It's, okay, it's fully depressed brake metal. Keep on pressing, so it's it clunked a couple times. Uh, now it's doing the shift control system learning. And you can hear the idle blipping up and down a little bit. Um, it's not clunking right at the moment. Okay, there it's, you can feel it doing something. Again, it's doing all kinds of machinations that you really aren't privy to, but it's, uh, it's doing them. And select Let's see, I go to R range now, and it's doing shift control learning again. Select neutral, turn off ignition switch. Registering, okay. And that uh, should have done it, turning it off, disconnected it from the uh, issue. It didn't give me a completed uh, sign, but if I start the car, the way you can tell is the AT temperature lamp that was down there. 
uh, will flash four times and then pause and then flash four times again and do that forever. Um, I did find out the hard way that trying to do this in your garage without a lift, it is not going to be uh, able to complete the process. Um, so you will need to do it on the lift and um, now we've got to drive around and see if it's right. <laughs> 